Jordan has a question. Is it possible to insert a link to one file that is in another team? And can the link be made as a tab? Yes, it can. <laughs> All right. Thank you for watching. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Um, I think the main thing is you can insert links, but then it's having the permission to the file for the individual. So you've just got to make sure that when you do a link, you then go change the permissions and that's the link that you use. So you've got to change the permissions first and foremost. And once you've got the link to that file with the right people, because it embeds effectively the kind of their name and coding in as to who they are, and then you put that over into the other team and you can add it as a tab, you can put it into chat, you can, whatever it is you want to do, you can send it via email. It's just got to have the right people with the right permissions ultimately. Yeah, and so something else to think of, if there's the potential of multiple links, you don't want a, a lengthy tab scenario. So then think about creating a page and adding those links to that page. Yeah, yeah. It, de or, it depends yeah, on how you're using it. Yeah, but, there's right. There's a ton of files, right. so there's a ton of files, create a folder, put them, you know, you can, I mean, I don't necessarily love doing this, but you can go to SharePoint, you can go into advanced permissions, you can break the inherited permissions, but make sure that you well, know that that folder is your broken inherited folder. Here's an example of exactly that. And you're shaking your head no, Stacey, but this is a scenario. So yeah, when, when I before when I when I got into SharePoint, my one of my main things I was doing out in the industry was building project management organizations, PMOs for companies. I would go in, clean up their hot mess of project management, project management, and structure all that, give them rigor around their project activities. That's where I discovered SharePoint in its very earliest, the 2003 era. Uh, but the that concept in teams works beautifully of going and having that yes a broken uh, uh permissions it's not a, the teams related but you can create a pmo sharepoint site that maybe has all of your templates and have that as uh, maybe even design as part of your provisioning process to automatically in any project related teams that are created to include a tab that points back to that shared pmo folder with all the templates yeah. So that that scenario, and I've done that for a couple organizations, um, that works well in that scenario. Yeah. I'm fine with document libraries and lists when breaking permissions, okay? You don't go any lower, period. Not to a you specific don't... file? Correct. Never at a file area because then you're just adding extra administration for the admins. You're asking for issues when you get audited. You'll never pass an audit. Just, I'm gonna throw that out there because no one is gonna document well enough to identify all that. So you're gonna fail an audit. So document library, furthest you should go break permissions ever. I'm just laying it out, done, right there. <laughs> so this is another one of those, Jorn, is like, you can, the question is, should you? Should you? Yeah, I would, I always say that um, if you are, if you are going to, you literally have just one folder and that folder is the only folder that's actually, it's broken inheritance. And then anything that's in, you know that it's based on the individual within there and you contain it and you know that that's the folder that's in because if they do it to the file level, and I tell them all the time, yeah. you go down and you break that file and that file and that file, you'll never know which one in the team that someone has access to or not has access to it becomes yeah. a nightmare. Except with third-party tools that are able to track that, but out of the box, <laughs> it's just, painful. Just, but yeah. just. So people tell me, so people tell me all the time, like they're like, um, but I have certain documents that only these people need to see, and I'm like, well, then create that document library called confidential or execs only or yeah. whatever, and move that content there. Yeah. Don't break it within the masses. If they, if in that whole entire document library, they're only accessing two documents, that is not conducive of what you're trying to do. You're just asking for trouble, asking all, for it. All I'm saying is I no. agree with everything you've said, but there are third-party tools that allow you to track <laughs> all that. No, it's still like, and even they'll tell you, yeah, don't do it. Is. Like, is. but yeah. there are tools that can give you a view very quickly of, Give me a view in this tenant of every document with broken non-standard permissions and who has access and all the details around that. Like you can do that. 
But the problem is with it, though, Christian, the manager doesn't actually know or the individual when they of start course. inside an organisation. No. They never no. know which one it is that what? they're supposed to have access to what? and what? which what? list and which document. And... The, the help desk is supposed to know what to do? I mean, come I just, on. Like I said, you <laughs> can do it, but you but shouldn't it's do it. Not yeah. a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We could go on for hours about this, but yeah. I know, I know. exactly. But ultimately, <laughs> the, back to the original question, yes, just create the link with the right people extending, giving them permissions, and then post that link into your wherever it is that you need it to go. So I, love tab, yeah, I love when people add a tab. Yeah, I love when people add the tab and they don't extend the permissions and then, well, it's there. Yes. I, I can open it. I put it yeah, there. I nobody can else can open it. Yeah. Well, uh, yay, yeah. you can get to it. Yay. But yeah, you got to let everybody else be able to get to it, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> I love these conversations. Like that. Thank you.